you need to pay the researcher and of course not with money but with the honor with the, the mentioning I mean, I mean we always do it if we use data from other at the end we say well thanks with and then naming the group or the, the the researcher for delivering their data cleaning the data and without their data we couldn't do it and things like that I mean this this beneficial uh, or mutual mentioning the others thanks for your data and I'm giving my data back to the public to the of course, there are a few ways to see uh, how much impact you have. By You could uh, count publications, but one of the big problems is that uh, it's not always common to refer to um, a language and, and other resources that you've used during your research. So it's very important that we should make sure that people who use Clarion give credit to Clarion and to the people who have uh, deposited their data at Clarion. And that's a very tricky thing that we really have to... to change people's attitudes. Now things are changing in this respect as well and and um, I think things are better than they used to be maybe 10 years ago but but I think it, it still remains um, something that that actually the you know people who are running digital research infrastructures will will have to keep pursuing as a goal to explain that uh, we have different modes of production and that we need to evaluate um, um, what we produce in a different way. One model, for instance, already exists. It's a tricky one, but it exists. It's, it's called post-publication peer review. Okay. Mm -hmm. So right now you submit an article, usually you submit an article to, to a journal, it gets peer reviewed, it gets published, that's the end of the story. A different model would be to um, write papers, deposit them in your university depository or repository or the digital research infrastructure such as Daria in HAL or somewhere like that and then to create a system where after you publish a draft people can actually comment and help you improve the article. Now it's, it's, it's not as simple as it sounds because A people have to find time to read <laughs> and improve um, and some people might not be that um, easy about or feel that easy about submitting or opening up their unfinished work to the general public. So in that sense I think there's there's something that individual researchers can do as well is that try to think about um, not striving just for perfection for the sake of career but <laughs> striving for more um, open and community oriented scholarly process as such. Mm -hmm. Um, I think that's where we're kind of, so on the one hand we would have advocacy and on the other hand we would have scholars who, who decide to share more of their data and unfinished work to, to slowly change the way things work. Mm -hmm.